So for this first test video, I'm going to review some of the concepts that we talked about before we left for spring break. Um, so the first, one of the first ones was a review of how to balance a redox reaction. This is important because we need to know how many electrons we're transferring if we're oxidizing one species and reducing the other. Um, so one of the examples that we want, might want to do, I think this was on your outline, would be to balance the reaction of the oxidation of iodide, I minus, with permanganate, MnO4 minus. As you might remember, Mn, or permanganate is in the manganese 7 oxidation state. And so it's very oxidizing and wants to go to a lower manganese oxidation state, so it wants to oxidize other things. Iodide is I minus, so it might want to be oxidized to higher oxidation states of iodine. So what this forms under basic conditions is manganese oxide, MnO2, so this is manganese 4, and elemental iodine, I2. So again, to review how to, uh, how to balance these reactions, what we must first do is write out the respective half reactions. So if you remember on the left side, we have the anodic reaction. So we have the oxidation. So iodine, I minus, going to I2. So this is the anodic. And then on the right, ooh, which I'll do in red, we have our cathodic reaction, which is MnO4 minus going to MnO2. All right, this reaction, this marker isn't working very well. So for again, we must first Step one, we'll balance, balance non-oxygen, non-proton. And then so we'll first balance it by 2i minus going to i2. Everything must be balanced. So that's the key thing to remember. Uh, and then here, because we don't have any oxygens or protons, we can then balance electrons. So far, so good. So this is already a balanced half reaction. For this right side here, this is a little bit more complicated. So step one, our manganese are balanced. Check. Um, step two, then we'll balance our oxygens. Balance oxygen. Ooh, that's a better marker. So we'll have here we have four oxygens. Here we have two. So manganese O4 minus. And then we balance these by adding water. So manganese oxide plus two molecules of water. So now our oxygen atoms are balanced. Step three, then we'll balance protons. And then so here we have four, here we have zero, so then we just have to add four protons. Going to And then finally, we'll balance our charges. So here we have four protons, one minus charge. So overall, this is three plus. Over here is neutral. So we must then for, therefore add electrons. So we have four protons plus permanganate plus three electrons goes to manganese oxide plus water. And then set five, we'll basify. And then, so here, our final, we'll add hydroxide to balance out each of the protons. So we're going to add plus four hydroxides to each side. So then we'll get four waters plus permanganate plus three electrons goes to manganese oxide plus two waters, 
plus four hydroxides. And then now we'll cancel out the waters. So over here we have two waters, these go away. And then so over here we'll have two waters. So that's our fi final balanced reduction half reaction on this side. And then once we have these two together, then we can combine. So if we combine these two, we must balance out the number of electrons. So over here we have two electrons. Over here we have three. So we must multiply this one by two, this one by three. And then so our final balanced overall cell equation, so this is our cell, will have to be, let's see, four waters plus two permanganates and then plus six electrons plus six iodides goes to three ID plus six electrons plus two manganese oxides and plus eight hydroxides. So overall, that is our balanced chemical equation that we'll then use for this cell. So we could then figure out how to construct an electrochemical cell by having beakers of both of these two reactions side by side. So let's talk about uh, electrochemical cells. Let me just erase this.